Welcome, here we are at the Liverpool Echo Arena. It's that time again for the pinnacle of the English boxing domestic calendar. The best boxers in England are here to fight it out for that most coveted championship belt. Let's take a look inside at the weekend's highlights. Here we are at the Liverpool Echo Arena. Once again, it's time for the England Boxing Elite National Finals Day. We're getting ready here. This is the walkway that our boxers, the best in England, are going to be walking through. Incredibly nervous, tense, and I'm sure excited. Here we've got the gloves. This is where the boxers are going to come with their coaches before their fights. Here's the runners-up trophies, but this is the one that you really want to have in your hands by the end of today. All that blood, sweat and tears, training, nerves, sacrifices, this is what it's all about today. In the men's 49 kilo category, there was a major upset where Kieran MacDonald beat Sonny Edwards. It was a very, very close affair with Kieran just taking the decision with some quality finishes and clean shots. Here's what he had to say after the fight. It was the number one stage who I was up against from the start, of podium boxer. I kind of crowd me, but one of the best lads I've shared the ring with. It was an incredibly controlled performance. You were patient, you were composed. Was those the tactics going in? Yeah, them were the tactics, obviously. He's a good counter punch from boxer, so if you just got to rush into him, he's just got to kick you off all day. There was a few times in the fight when he, he thought he was going to get that way, but I yeah, quite composed and pulled off. Well, you certainly made it worth the while. Fantastic win today, and congratulations. In a very close fought bout for the women's 64 kilogram category, England boxer Sherelle Brown overcame Paige Murney, also an England boxer. It was a close affair, but Sherelle, with that little bit of flair and skill, was able to take the victory and impress the judges to get a split decision. Clearly delighted with the victory, here is what she had to say after the fight. I'm with Sherelle Brown now, the 64 kilo national champion. Sherelle, great performance. How did you feel in there? You look relaxed. Uh, second day. I felt like my lungs had opened up and I was able to do what I wanted to do, it's wicked. <laughs> and we even saw what used to be the Ali Shuffle, which we should maybe now call the Sherelle Shuffle. <laughs> oh no, we can still call it the Ali Shuffle, but there's a few people here, including yourself, my partner and close friends, that did that shuffle for. The men's 75 kilogram category was one of the most anticipated matchups of the day. In an enthralling encounter, Jordan Reynolds came flying out from the first bell but Benjamin Whitaker was able to adjust and use his range to dominate from the centre and take a victory. Here's what he had to say after the fight. I knew he was going to come for it. I knew sometimes I'd have to box and sometimes I'd have to tough it out and that's what I did. Come, come away with a, a unanimous win, so very good. It's a fantastic achievement. What have you got coming up next? Well, I've just been accepted onto the GB uh, podium potential, so that's one of my dreams. This is another dream, winning it, just turning over to senior. That's fantastic. I'm sure you're going to have a really successful GB career and congratulations for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you can see, everybody's packing up behind me here because that brings us to the end of the 129th English Boxing Championships. There's been dramas, there's been victories, blood, sweat and tears as always, but the future certainly looks bright for England Boxing. Please make sure you follow us on our social media sites. All the fights are available online and we'll see you next year. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.